Hey guys, welcome back to the New Nine Golf YouTube channel. I'm here today with a good buddy of mine, Tyler Foster, who is a golf teaching professional. Um, he's gonna walk us through a few tips for the beginner golfer that if you've never golfed before, you've golfed two or three times, these are some fundamentals that you're gonna have to learn if you wanna have a decent round. So Tyler's gonna show us a few things and uh, hopefully this helps you become a better golfer. So today we're going to talk about a certain concept, the acronym GASP, G-A-S-P. And what that stands for is grip, aim, stance, and posture. Those are the main fundamentals that we want to make sure we have down pat when we're starting golf to set us off on the right foot to make sure we hit the right shots at the right times. So the first thing we're going to talk about is grip. So Tyler, walk me through kind of what I want to start out to, to grip the golf club. All right, so a lot of amateurs have, have an issue when they start out golf. Um, it's actually, my dad has this problem too, and I've been working with him for 15 years trying to fix it, and he still can't fix it. But when we grip the club, we wanna make sure we have it in our fingers, and we don't have it in the palm of our hands. So take your top hand, Brandon. Take your index finger, your left index finger, hook it around the back of the grip. Make sure the top of the grip comes on this side, the bottom side of your palm. You don't want it to go up the middle of your palm. Now lay your top thumb over, and when we sit in that position, you should see the V that's connected between your thumb and your index finger is up to your right shoulder. So that's very important. Then when we go to lay the other hand on, you have three options. We start with an interlock grip. We can overlap the grip which puts your pinky on top of your index finger on the other hand, or we can use a baseball grip. And for beginners, depending on your strength, I recommend maybe starting with a baseball grip and then playing around with the interlock and overlap to see what it feels like in your hands. Sometimes when you change your grip frequently, uh, it can feel like the club is too loose in your hands or it's gonna fall out. Uh, it takes some practice to get, to get the feel for it. Um, so just play around with it and see what feels best for you. So. Let's fast forward a little bit. I've played around with my grip a bunch, and for me personally, the overlap feels most comfortable. Now, if you're sitting at home and you're holding a golf club in your uh, office chair, maybe the overlap feels really weird, and maybe uh, previously you've interlocked it. Whatever feels comfortable, let's work with that. As Tyler said, there's no right or wrong as far as the uh, overlap, interlock, or the baseball grip. You're welcome to use what feels comfortable. I personally am gonna use the overlap. All right, so now let's get your right hand on the grip. You decided to go with the overlap, right. uh, the pinky on the index finger. Yep. And as you put your right hand on, you see there, we ha now have both of the Vs between your thumb and index finger on both hands pointed up to your rear shoulder. So right shoulder for right-handed players, left shoulder for left-handed players. And what I always like to do is, is test my students to make sure the grip is properly on. So what I want you to do is stand up, hold your club out, and let your hands fall and relax and you can see your club face is square to your target. If your right hand is too strong, meaning over here, your, your club face will fall closed. And if your right hand is too weak on that side, your club face will fall open. So we want those forearms in your hands to fall straight down with a square club face. Okay, so the left hand makes total sense. So when I'm gripping it, I'm gripping it inside my fingers, not in my palm, and I'm creating a V between my thumb and index finger, and it's pointing to my rear shoulders. That'd be my right shoulder, because I'm a right-handed golfer. That's right. I'm comfortable with the overlap. I create a second V pointing at the same shoulder. When I take a dress, it looks square, but just to test it, you said to hold my arms up, loosen my grip, and as you can see, it, it stayed square. So now I'm probably ready to move on to the next step, right? That's right, and our, our, our next stage of this will be our aim. All right, so we're talking about aim now. You know, a lot of golfers have a difficult time with, with aim. They think they're aimed correctly, shots are going left and right. It's really challenging, it's really confusing. Then they get tips from their buddies on the range and, and it may make it even worse. I'm sure lots of people, a lot of you out there have, have experienced that. So the first step when you're practicing on the range is to get down one of these alignment sticks. You can throw down a club, a three iron, that's, that's generally what I like to use, or if you have some of these alignment sticks, that works great too. Make sure you have that pointed right at your target where you're looking at shooting the ball, and get up, grip your club like we just talked about, and get ready to hit towards your target. So we'll let the audience know that 
You'll see down the line, Cam, we're, we're aimed at a yellow stake. Um, the yellow stake's only maybe 40 yards away, but that's our point of aim right now. So our alignment stick is pointed at that yellow stake. Right. So there are three lines that I like to have uh, my students follow. Now you can see we have the alignment stick, which helps your eyes visualize where, where the target is. And we're gonna look at three lines. The first one is where your feet are pointed. That's, that's parallel to the aiming stick. Then we come up to your hips, make sure they're square. That's parallel to the alignment stick as well. Then we come up to your shoulders and we make sure that's parallel to the alignment stick as well. That gives us our standard textbook setup position uh, and it sets you up for, for the best chance at hitting it towards your target. Okay, so we've done grip. We got the grip down. We're now aimed at the right spot. What comes next? It's your stance. So we wanna make sure we're, we're standing correctly and, and our stance uh, within the acronym GASP, we have our stance and posture left. And those kind of go in, in together in the same package. You know, we have all different shapes and sizes of golfers, but there are basic fundamentals that we want to have when, when we're taking our stance and setting up our posture. So you've got your grip, you've got your aim, take your stance. And I really like what you have done there uh, with the width of your stance. Ideally, we'd like your feet to be uh, just outside your shoulder line. So if I think I'm shoulder width apart here, that's I'll about go just shoulder a little width. bit more. Just a little bit more, that's right. And that looks good right there. That gives you a nice stable base, feet are planted and, and you have a solid base. So now we, we gotta figure out how your posture is gonna be set up, right? Right. So the best thing to do, and this is, this is my favorite drill uh, when, when teaching beginners especially, is take your stance now, now we see all different, uh, all different types uh, of the way people put their posture when they're set up to the golf ball. But what I'd like you to do is stand up, straighten your knees. Now hold your club out like we did on the grip drill. Okay, relax your arms. The club should be kind of pointed out from around your belly button or belt buckle area, straight out. Now get your feet, the width, as we talked about, just wider than your shoulders. Bend your knees into sort of a ready position. You know, if you're, if you're gonna catch a ball, you wanna be, be ready and in balance. Okay. Don't have your weight too far back on your heels. Don't have it too far on your toes. Have it somewhere right in the center. So you're feeling ready with your knees. Now, essentially all you have to do from there is lean forward, bend your hips and get down to the ground. And there you have it. You have your grip, aim, stance, and now your posture is set up right on point and you should be able to make a swing and hit it towards your target. Okay, so that wraps up our GASP lesson, the grip, aim, stance, and posture. So those are some great fundamentals that uh, obviously I've played the game, but for someone that's just learning, those are some wicked fundamentals and a great acronym to learn, the GASP. So thanks again, Tyler, for giving us some uh, tips and hopefully all you guys out there uh, enjoy the game of golf and don't quit, don't give up on just one or two rounds, really stick at it and you'll see a lot of improvement. So thanks again for tuning in and we'll catch you next time.